On September 27th, 2024, Hurricane Helena hit the United States. That resulted in billions of dollars of damage across the southeastern portion of the United States, affecting Georgia, North Carolina, Tennessee, and also Virginia. There was some damage in my area in the New River Valley of southwest Virginia. Some footage showing some of the result several days later. Um, I live along the New River, so this is an, uh, a map of the New River here. And, you know, this area is where I went over several days to take footage of the damage. I also went to along the New River, along Bell Spring and Parrot uh, up this way. And so, but first we're going to look at some of the footage that was um, observed here at the bridge. So zoomed in here on this bridge, goes over the New River. There's some pictures of what this looked like uh, prior to the damage. And this is the bridge. So this is going to be kind of our baseline. You can see that the water level is about 30 feet below the bridge, and we're going to see that it actually went up much higher than that. Just to give you a sense of how high the water got, well, there's today, October 2nd. Um, currently, the water level at this gauge in Radford, Virginia, which is right near that bridge, it's around three feet. Normally, it's actually around one foot, so the water levels are still quite high. But at the peak, it got up to 31 feet, huge numbers. So these are different levels and indicating like extreme flooding. At this point, this is like way, way, way high. This is way extreme. And you can see how quickly it went up. Like within a day, it started climbing more and more and more over a period of about 24 hours or so. And that's when it reached its peak. And then it started to decline and went lower and lower. Just to give you a sense of like what this looks like historically, if we click on 30 days, you can see over the last month, this is like when we got some rainfall. This is like what a normal sort of heavy rainstorm should do. Um, and over the course of a year, just to give you a sense of the historical nature of this, this was a huge rainstorm that we got and it peaked at around 10 feet or so. Um, and this caused some, some flooding and, you know, some damage in the area, but it really wasn't too big a deal. This isn't too unusual. This is historical in nature. You can just see how high this is and how unusual it is. And as you can see, the water level got up to just basically below the bridge. Remember our baseline, here's the footage from above the bridge. Uh, this is a picture. You can see water level is basically spilled over the banks. It's gone over to the floodplain adjacent to where the bridge is um, causing damage, in farm fields and homes and things that are along the river. You know, most of the area was not damaged, but obviously there's damage for anything that was like, you know, within this floodplain. And uh, this is the view from the, where we would drive into the parking lot, but the parking lot here is underneath 30 feet of water. So, you know, huge amount of damage. This is early on Saturday morning. We went back later in the evening to look at the damage there and the water had receded a little bit, like about 10 feet more. So we're going to look at more footage of that. So my son was very interested in doing rescuing of various critters that we were finding in these puddles. And that's what we're looking at here. Oh. Oh. I, no, I, I had a, like, a big fish. Yeah, it's like, what is it? I, I don't know.
crankfish. Pond's a little crankfish. There's another fish right there. I'm not sure this fish out. Yeah, there's There must be hundreds of fish in here. They're all gonna die. This Oh! There's a... I, there's a big crayfish stuck. There's a big crayfish stuck in one of them. The biggest one I've ever seen. This is like half the size of the big one. Really? Yeah. This is a pretty big one though. Oh. I'm right here. Just all along the bank. Crayfish everywhere. Tons of crayfish. Little ones, big ones. Bunch of crayfish. Dead bass. Look at them all. <laughs> These are all crayfish. Dad, there's about a hundred crayfish right over here. Like Hold on. Oh my gosh. Yes, exactly. Oh, there you go. Yeah. That's... We went back on Sunday, which was September 29th, and much more of the parking lot wasn't visible, but it was completely wrecked. And this wasn't like, like a paved parking lot or anything, but it was really uh, just totally um, covered with sand. We found dead fish. We found all kinds of downed tre trees and limbs. Um, yeah, everything was just kind of washed off, um, stuff just strewn everywhere. The river was still quite high. That's where the boat launch normally is. And yeah, just destruction everywhere. A bunch of tires that had come out of the river were now up on shore, uh, trees everywhere downed along the shore, uh, you know, this sign up in a tree. I mean, it was just, uh, you know, really devastating for that area. So it's not like the whole area looks like this. Of course, like the rest of Southwest Virginia is mostly fine, but pretty well uh, wrecked in a lot of places. And then we did some more rescuing. And so there, that's what this is. Fish rescuer.
is just more footage of some of the destruction that we saw on that day. Um, pretty significant. You know, you can see it's just mud everywhere, trees knocked down, the brush just completely cleared out. Um, it's going to take years for all this to recover. Um, it's really pretty bad. Yeah, that's a good size bass. Rest. Yeah. None of this was here. The sand, all the tires. There's a fence. That's down. Just devastating. All this stuff blown over. <laughs> wow. Water level got all the way up here. And the river's way down there. Balls. Just trash. This was all trees in here before. You wouldn't be able to walk through here like this.
Got up so high. And the river's still high. It's still five feet above where it is normally. Coke can. Nice. A true spillway monster. Yeah. Smallmouth. So close, but yet so far. Well, this is all underwater. trees. There's a house up there. And the water level got all the way up there. All of this was underwater. This was all brush. It's just stripped. We also checked out Bell Spring and Parrot. Um, this is, uh, there's like a fishing camping area there. This is what it looked like before the devastation. Uh, you know, really beautiful area. Usually like there's, the, you actually see quite a bit of the river at this point, but this is what it looked like afterwards. And it was just totally wrecked. Uh, I mean, you can see like the, the water flow is quite high here and uh, just really, really quite destroyed. Including this pile of dead fish that we found, you know, this is three days later. So pretty intense, uh, you know, wreck all kinds of refuse and things along the shore, uh, really quite wiped out. My son then decided he was going to do some more fish rescuing. So here's a bass. see what do we got not as many big fish but... no they had a bunch it's crazy yep All rock bass. All rock bass. Yeah. What do you got? Oh, crayfish. There you go. And that's a, just a bluegill. Yeah, bluegill. That's a rock bass. Oh, you win. Good. <laughs> this is 
red breasts, there's sucker or shiners. Yeah. Rock bass, bluegill. Look at that. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> Little guys. Oh my gosh. The rock bass just like lost all color. Yeah. Nothing. Just, just one. Oh, one. one. That got him again. Some flooding damage. This is the water line that went over the road. You can see it goes all the way down. That was the water level. And that's the river. I want a net under there. <laughs> Wait, the the road collapsed there. Though. Yeah. came all the way up here. Utter devastation. 